welcome back to another video. Now you might be thinking, why is he making coffee in the evening? But I'm not, it's only 3 p.m. And as you've seen, when I started the video, there was plenty of light in the house and suddenly it just clouded over and no. But as you can see, there is blue skies way in the back over there. Yeah, there was blue skies and now it is snowing and terrible. But I wanted to make this video today because tonight we are going to be visiting somewhere really interesting in Berlin and I wanted to take everybody along because I wanted to talk about something and I wanted to see what your guys' thoughts on it was. We're gonna get ready in a little bit. The work day is almost finished and then we will head out to where I wanna show you. All right guys, so not sure if you can hear me because we have to wear our masks inside this exhibit. But right now we are checking out an installation by Robert Irwin and it is entitled Light and Space. And it's in this old energy plant that wasn't being used and they turned it into this incredible event center and art space. And I don't want to film too much in here because it's pretty quiet. Everyone's really just trying to enjoy the art, but I'll definitely film the B-roll. Uh, the space is called Craftwork. I'll try to film as much as I can, but I thought this would be really cool to film and why I wanted to film was I wanted to actually talk about short form content and if that's going to be a long lasting thing and by that I mean sh uh, YouTube shorts, reels, TikTok or is YouTube longer type of videos going to make a comeback this year? Um, it's a longer conversation but if you haven't seen the reel that I made and the reason why I came here is because I don't normally make reels and shorts, but I've been thinking about it because I know that is what is probably most popular right now, especially on socials, and I wanted to experiment more with that. But for me, that isn't really the content that inspires me. And I just wanted to have a conversation to see if everyone in my audience or just in general think that is gonna be the new and forever type of content, or is it gonna eventually come back mm -hmm. to more of this like, short form YouTube five to 10 minute type of videos for socials. I don't know. Um, we'll talk about it more once we get out of here, but right now let's go to some B-roll. That was a super cool experience. I love that Berlin always takes these sort of unused spaces and turns them into something really incredible. Uh, firstly, I'm using this handheld mic because our furniture is still arriving and this place is not sound treated at all. So I know the echo is pretty bad and I don't enjoy listening to it. So I don't want to put you guys through that. So I apologize if it is bad, but I hope that this is rectifying that issue a little bit and what I really wanted to jump back on and talk about is that I went to Craftwork not only to enjoy that exhibition by Robert Irwin but I had this idea to make a reel and I thought that would be a really great place to do that and that spurred the conversation in my head and what I wanted to talk to my audience in this community about is what do you guys think about shorts and reels I know they're super popular and 
trending right now. But do you think that is something that is going to be long lasting for the next, you know, five years, 10 years, or will it start to fade away? Kind of like Snapchat did kind of like, oops, sorry, the light's changing now. So I got to adjust it a little bit. Of course, the light's changing, but, but yeah. So do you think it'll be long lasting for the next five years, 10 years, or do you think it'll start to fade away sort of like Snapchat did or even Flickr or where's she at MySpace because we are just inundated with so many of those pieces of short micro content and as much as I love watching them it's not the type of content that I typically enjoy making and it doesn't inspire me as much but the reel that I did make is something that I think uh, is more in line with what I enjoy making uh, if you haven't checked it out already, it's on my Instagram right now. I'd love for you to check it out and support that. But that's pretty much it. I'd love to hear your comments and thoughts on that topic. Shorts, reels, TikTok, are you into it? Are you not? Do you think people should continue to make it? Or are you enjoying more of these like uh, vlog style or cinematic pieces and just, you know, more of the traditional YouTube videos? Uh, going into 2022, I sat down and wanted to uh, plan my content strategy for the year. And so it just got me thinking about this and that's where this whole video and idea sparked from. But again, thank you so much for your support. I would love if you considered subscribing, it would mean a lot to me and be super helpful. The next video that I have in the works is the a7 III head to head against the a7 IV, which I'm filming with right now. and. That's gonna wrap it up for this one. So have a great day, live passionately and stay inspired and we'll see you in the next one, bye.